Mrs. Prendergast, I'm sorry, Mrs. Prendergast. I, I should apologise about my gender. Um, I think it's important that as part of Daphne's incorporation into the rights and citizen programme that a similar level of focus and funding is given towards future initiatives as has been given throughout the previous three Daphne programmes. Um, I particularly agree that a renewed emphasis should be given to small NGOs and non-profit organisations whose participation is invaluable if we are to meet the programme's aims. I owe, in my own home country, a number of organisations have participated in Daphne programmes and Daphne funded initiatives that have contributed to the prevention of violence against children and young people. These projects range from the Dignity Initiative where the Dublin Employment Pact and Immigration Council of Ireland worked with European partners to attempt to increase the quality of services delivered to victims of sex trafficking to helping to establish and promote the pan-European 116000 hotline for missing children. It is vital that Europe continues to support the good work carried out by these organisations and similar organisations all around Europe. Thank you. Thank you very much indeed, Ms. Prendergast. And now, Commissioner Georgieva once again. Thank you, Mr. President and honourable members. Uh, I wish to thank the rapporteur, uh, Mrs. Bastos, and the members of the uh, FEM committee for drafting uh, a very sound report.